fans, I want to talk about the Lomachenko Rigadal fight last night. Give you my post thoughts. First of all, Rigadal didn't even show up for the fight. Um, one thing that I noticed that top rank, they knew exactly what they was doing by. You can see the size difference between Rigadal and Lomachenko. After the first round, Rigadal was afraid to throw punches. I actually think he was just there to get a check. I mean, he wasn't motivated to try to get the win. Uh, he claimed that he hurt hand in the second round, which I don't believe. Um, Rigandau was actually paid 400000 for that fight, and Lomachenko received $1.2 So I guess Rigandau needed that money. He knew he wasn't going to get any other big fights out there. Uh, I don't want to see Rigandau anymore. Uh, Rigandau, like I said before, he don't throw a lot of punches. He don't take chances. Uh, Lomachenko, it was an easy day. Um, I, I don't want to say the fix was in, but, you know, something strange about that fight. You know, uh, top rank put that fight on and, and Rigandau just quit. He didn't show up to try to win any rounds. He barely threw punches. Uh, Lomachenko, I can't grade him off that fight. Uh, pound for pound. I, I actually like Lomachenko. I mean, he's a, a exciting fighter. Uh, I like to see him step up and fight Mikey Garcia. Uh, or those guys. Um, so I'm not going to give uh, Lomachenko a grade on a fight. He didn't have to fight. Like uh, it, it wasn't a fight for him to display his talents, his toughness. But uh, you know, I was excited about the fight. And once I, I watched it, I was uh, disappointed, big time. So once again, shout out to my man, Jesse Hart. Uh, he'll be fighting in, Fe in February. I I'll give you guys the news about that fight later. So uh, leave your comments. I like to read them. And I'll talk to you guys later.